Another nice feature of PivotPal is it allows you to build out your pivot table from your source data sheet. So I'm going to hit Alt A C on the keyboard to clear the filters. And now a lot of times what you'll end up doing is you'll end up flipping back and forth between your pivot table and your source data sheet because you're trying to add a field but you're not necessarily sure of the name of the field. You know the data that's inside that field but you, you're not necessarily sure of what how it's named. So you end up flipping back and forth between these. Well with PivotPal as you, you can just go to the source data sheet and select any cells and I select these cells they're automatically selected in the PivotPal window for you. So you can see I'm just selecting different cells here in the data set and those fields are then selected for you in PivotPal and then all you have to do is click one of these buttons to add it to the pivot table so maybe I want to put this ship name on rows I can do that by just simply clicking the field and then clicking a button Maybe I'll put my region in my columns area so I'm going to click region in the data source click the columns button and now I can go back to my pivot and see what that looks like so now we've start building out our pivot table but we're doing it from the source data sheet and, and this just will save you a lot of time because uh, otherwise you spend time just flipping back and forth and the built-in field list is not available on the source data sheet so this field list that you typically use to build out your pivot table that's not available on the source data sheet like it is with the pivot pal window